What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today I am here sitting in the parking lot of Holiday Lanes, home of the world famous TV Bowling Supply. Of course, preparing to bring you guys something that I have been very excited about for the past few months now. I've been planning it. It's an exciting new journey for me. Now that I can execute it, now that the season is over, I can put my dedicated work all of my brain and effort into it. Uh, it's something that certain people have told me I should try, so I'm gonna try it. Guys, I'm going two-handed. Now, first things first, obviously, uh, I'm not gonna retire from one-handed. Uh, that's definitely not the case. Uh, I've still got a couple of big non-PBA events that I still need to bowl. Uh, so I'm also gonna practice one-handed as well. Uh, I'm just going to actually really dedicate and grind on two-handed and just to see where that can get me. Um, if you have seen me bowl two-handed, you know, I'm, I'm pretty okay. Very unrefined, uh, but I'm looking forward to improving that because uh, I believe I could see a lot of growth over the next couple months that uh, will really inspire me to just keep going and keep grinding on it. And I've got a few goals lined up, uh, not just for the rest of the year, but maybe going into next year that depending on the progress that I'm making uh, for the next couple months, I may or may not be able to achieve and make them uh, plausible. And maybe we make new goals along the way. Uh, but for now, we just start with the basics. I have to go in there. Uh, I brought one of Chris's balls because the pitches that I'm going to use and the pitch that he uses are pretty similar. I'm going to explain a little bit more about uh, the technical stuff uh, when I get into the shop later. Uh, but I need one of his balls because I obviously don't have two-handed balls. So I need to go get a PAP. And then I've got about four or five, maybe six. Yeah, I think I'm just going to drill a whole arsenal today. Um, I'm also excited that it's only going to take, you know, a couple minutes to drill bowling balls too. So that's pretty uh, pretty exciting. But yeah, anyways, guys, let's get in there and let's get grinding. Let's do it. I'm excited. Very excited. It's time for two hands. All right, guys, I made it out here on the lanes. I've thrown a couple of warm-up shots. I haven't struck yet, but uh, as I said before, we're working to get a PAP here. So hopefully I throw one halfway decent. It's not bad. Yo. First strike for the camera. I mean, I'm a natural, what can I say? By the way, behind the camera is Jalen. He's back from school. What do you mean to shop like every day? Pretty, pretty much every day. So if you need someone to hack up your grips or, you know, violate your bowling ball, come in the TV bowling spot. Jalen will be there. All right. There's not a gigantic amount of oil out there, but we're going to try our best. That's not bad. Mm, we call it that one. We've got a very straight up and down track, which should make 2LS pretty easy. Hopefully it's just straight across. I don't think it is, I think it's a little down. All right, let's give it a go. I would say it's right on it, see? Jay, what's so hard about that, Jalen? What's so hard about that? First try. But yeah, I think we got our PAP, so we just gotta go back in the shop and measure it. Enjoy this B-roll montage of shots thrown with the tape on the PAP. All right, guys, we made it back into the pro shop. As you can see, I have six balls lined up here, all with layouts on them. Uh, I have chosen a pitch black. Obviously, this is actually a used one uh, that Chris left here for me. So hopefully it's got a little bit of major vibe magic in it. 
Uh, a no rules exist. Shout out to Jesper, Jesper Svensson. He brought me this ball, one of my favorites. So I'm gonna drill it. And then a uh, Zen Soul. I've drilled three of these. Didn't like any of them. So two handed, it's gotta work. Uh, and then a Fate, obviously, because Belmo's on the side of it. Uh, it's a two handed ball, apparently. So um, it, it should work. And I also like that ball one handed. So hopefully the logic for the Zen Soul doesn't happen to the Fate. And then a Night Road, because it's what I had. And I also do kind of like that ball when there's a lot of friction on the lane. And an ice. So this is what I'm going to be starting with. Uh, if you want to come a little closer, Jalen, I'll just give a little rundown of the layouts. Uh, so my PAP, I measured it out to five and a quarter over and three eighths down. As you can see, it's down, bang. So on the pitch black, we're running a four and a quarter by three and three quarter by four pin to COG. On the exist, four and three quarter by four and a half by three. This is going to have one of the shorter uh, pin to COGs compared to the other uh, reactive balls just because I want it to be a little bit on the smoother side. So I'm going to throw on the fresh. And then we move down the line. We've got the Zen Soul. This is going to be kind of my do it all ball, the transition ball. Five and a quarter by four and a half by four and a half. As you can see, that last number is a little bit longer than the exist. So it should. Uh, flare a little bit more, blend a little bit better front to back, and hopefully it being symmetric, it can give me that nice balance for when I start moving throughout the middle part of the lane. Now we go down to the Fate. We got five and a quarter. As you can see, same pin distance as the Zen Soul, by four and a half by four. So a slightly shorter pin to COG, uh, just to give me a little bit of a tighter flare dispersion. This ball has a little bit less flare in it as well, so it should complement the Zen Soul very well when it starts burning up. And then we got the Night Road 5x4x2.5, by by the shortest pin to COG, just because I want those flare lines to be tighter. The High Road Core does flare quite a bit, so I wanted to try and control that, because I will be throwing this ball when the front part of the lane starts to go away. And then we have the ice. The layout is pin under bridge. I'm going to drill all these balls, guys, and um, yeah, enjoy some more B-roll. Right, guys that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching thank you for joining me on this journey to two hands i hope you guys enjoy it i will be coming out with hopefully a lot more content this summer obviously like i said in the beginning of the video our tour season's over so i will have a lot of dedicated time back home here to film everything it is two-handed as well as the regular ball reviews and such and such strike challenge Jalen, we tried to film that before, but we had a little camera malfunction, so we're going to run that back. We got a lot of content for you coming up. I'm going to try and put at least one two-handed video out per week, maybe two. We have a summer series ran by Zeke Bait. Shout out to Zeke Bait. Jalen and I are going to be bowling that, so you guys are going to have a little bit of a league night type vibe to this channel as well. So hope you guys join us for that. And like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I want to try and get to, what's a good number of subscribers to get to by the end of the year, Jalen? 300,000. 300,000, that's a little ambitious, but if we get to 50, I will be very happy. Like I said, content is coming, so I hope you guys do as well. Wow, that's a little dirty. Get your minds out of the gutters. And anyway, guys, have a great one, and I'll see you in the next one.